bush looking for foxes. I heard it rustling. Come check it out. This is the kid now. Sharp spines. This is the Australian echidna. The trick to getting him out is the digging. So you've got to get the hand under, underneath where they're digging, and try to, ah, oh, he's in, in good. And try to flip him over. There we go. It's like he's got roots sticking in the ground. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, little fella. Oh, no, he's in again. <laughs> Good. Got him! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. You didn't see anything. Look at that. Got a little echidna. Look at him. Now, you can see here, he's curled up into a ball. That's a defense mechanism. So he'll bury his little. Bury his little face in here. Oh, there it is. See, look at his beak. Uh, that beak he uses to stick inside ant and termite nests. And he'll flick out his long tongue and collect ants and termites on him. And then swallow it up with his tongue. He'll just bring his tongue back in. That will be stuck to it. And he'll get his meal. Now, this is basically like an Australian anteater. They're called the Australian short beaked echidna. They're basically all over Australia. And they're a monotreme. There's only three species of monotreme in the world, which is this guy, the short-beaked echidna, the platypus, and the New Guinea long-beaked echidna. And monotreme is a mammal that lays eggs, which is quite rare. Now, yeah. you can see here, he's got these spines, but unlike the American porcupine, his spines can't be shot out, and they're not as sharp, see? If I touch this, he can't shoot out his spines. So they're pretty well harmless. Just a cute little fella. I really wasn't expecting to see this guy at all. Really nice animal. They're, they're common in Australia. They're not in any trouble in most places. Quite common, but I just wasn't expecting to see him. I was just walking along. We are about to try to catch a fox. And then I just heard this rustling. I thought it might be a lizard or a snake or something. So have a look. I see him. Now the last time I caught an echidna in the video, he peed on Hayden's boot. So hopefully that won't happen again. Now because it being a mammal, he's warm blooded. But these guys are amazing diggers. If you just leave him here. Watch how quick he'll just bury bury into the dirt. Look at that. Burying really quick. And the only way to get him out is you gotta dig, start digging here, and get your hands underneath his spines and pick him out like that or flip him over because if you can't do that you're not going to get him out they're really in really hard into the ground pulling him out is like pulling trying to pull a plant out of the ground with its roots in got a really good grip wow. what a beautiful animal Your hands under and flip it out. And these spines evolved as a defense mechanism against predators, which they don't have many of. Stuff like dingoes, foxes, if they didn't have the spines, cats, feral dogs, all of that. Maybe poles, but if an animal comes in to eat them, he'll just have his spines here, up like this, and then they can't get to him without getting their mouth spiked. So they're pretty well safe. Unless the animal digs, flips him over, gets into his belly, in which case he'll just roll up into a little ball, like he's doing right now, so they can't get to his head. If you look here, see his little, little beak in there, he's tucking it in. It's an amazing beak. And then these big, powerful feet and claws. Now what he's doing right now, is another ouch another method of deterring predators 
if you get under him, he'll curl up into a ball and jam you in with him, which is what he's doing right now. Oh, uh, and he's pooping as well. Yeah. I'll just put him back over into the bush. Where he was, yeah. Where he was, because you should always leave an animal back where you found it. Yeah. Yeah, and here's the. <laughs> okay, I think he's had enough. Gross. So I'll just put him right back. Okay. So, so there you have the Australian short beaked echidna. And he's poo. <laughs> yep. And now, see you later, buddy. Just get a close up. And there he goes. Back under the bush. Was burying and sit there, wait for the danger to pass. Now I guess what comes out of this is always be prepared when walking in the bush because you might get more than what you're expecting. Oh, antibiotics for his colour. Two 